Mic check, mic check. Mic check. What's going on, guys? Hello. We're here, we're here. <laughs> Happy Friday, everyone. We're back. One more, a new week. Yeah. A new week, a new stream. Uh, thanks for joining us today. Can you guys let us know in chat if, uh, if you can't hear us, if it's just lips flapping, uh, or if we're too loud or too soft, soft or can't whatever? Hear Here's some game, play, game, game in the background. Everything okay? I, I don't want to have to shut this thing down like we have to do from time to time. I know, just time. readjust. It's better to do it first than to do it in the mid. <laughs> so, uh, we'll introduce ourselves real quick. Uh, my name's Sam, Sam Mullen. I am a localization producer here at Sega, Atlas, etc., etc. And I'm joined today by Not Scott. I'm the Not Scott. My name is Lauren. I am a marketing associate. And you've probably seen me on some of the other streams that we've done. Uh, but I'm glad to be here today and talking about Yakuza. So uh, let's get to it. So, what are we doing today? What are we doing today? Like Scott's not here. It's like it's. I feel like I'm, uh, you know, flying without an engine here. <laughs> but he, yeah, I guess he had to do it the other week. He had to fly. He had to fly mm -hmm, with. Uh, that dirt. <laughs> yeah, not Sam. I, 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 I still haven't watched that stream. I don't know what happened. I heard. I heard it was great. I heard it was amazing. I heard yeah. Dirk did a wonderful job. Yeah, I was actually. Um, so I just got back from Asia from a vacation, mm. and I actually watched it when I was out of town. So well, you're, you're better. You're better than I am. <laughs> this, so. Okay, so I do have. I actually have a like a. I have a homework homework list here, guys. Right here, in my notebook. It's uh, it's the thing we're gonna be covering today. So let's just jump into it. Let's see. Let's see what we got going on here. I don't remember really remember where we left off. So uh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, zero. How are you guys doing out there? Thanks for joining us again. Mm -hmm. We're trying to be consistent with this, uh, doing it every week. Um, we're in, uh, I think we're in like chapter one, two, three, four, chapter five, oh, I think. Five? Chapter five, because it's it's a uh, it's two chapters of Kiryu, two yeah, chapters, two chapters of, Majima, of Majima. And then back in the first chapter. Yeah, we're back. Yeah. We back. Got, we just yeah, got we back. We just got so. our nice white suit, so we're ready yeah. to be a Tachibana real estate agent. That's right. And uh, we got so last time where we left off, I believe um, we had been introduced to the um, to like the real estate real estate game. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, one of my task lists here that Scott wants me to try to do. <laughs> And I kind of understand why he's uh, he's like Sam. You're gonna handle this. We we're supposed to uh, clear the uh, the Leisure King, uh, the the first of the uh, five billionaires. Uh, oh, we're gonna take him out. We're gonna take him out. So we're gonna do that um, and talk about sort of the real estate side quest here in this in, the, in Yakuza Zero. Um, give you guys some tips and pointers. Um, but uh, that's gonna require us to kind of bounce back and forth from the from the. Uh, the real estate office that we have set up already and buy some and make some cash and whatnot so i'm gonna have to uh beat up some dudes and uh probably do some sub stories where i'm at it to, to get this out so we're gonna run over here and uh and go get over to our office and start seeing where i, I honestly I can't even remember where we left off like i gotta figure out uh oh we got dudes, oh, you got dudes. We're gonna, i gotta beat up diet guys i know i, I gotta get this cash because oh, still real estate In, being real estate you need a lot of capital and the six million you got is just not enough yeah, right six, now, is yeah, it? Yeah, six million. Uh, <laughs> this is like, uh, how much money is this? Uh, six million in, in Japanese yen is like sixty thousand dollars. Yeah. Got that in my face. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of these guys personally. Really? Yeah. Oh, I like the uh, rush. Rush is more my style. But I'm more of like a button masher myself, so the rush is more for me. <laughs> for Beast, I feel like you have to be really calculated with what you hit. Yeah. I would just say, there's a, it's, the, it's all about the grabbing dudes and swinging them around and killing all the guys at one time. So I have to admit, Miss Tatsu is probably the best teacher. Yeah, yeah. She's my favorite. Yeah, Miss Tatsu. We had Miss Tatsu, we were talking about her a couple, a couple weeks ago. Miss Tatsu definitely that's the right Number one. I want to get her jacket. <laughs> I too would like to be the tiger. <laughs> oh, come on, everybody. People are out for me today. That's okay. I need the money. You guys keep bringing me the money. I got places to spend it. So. Scott also once said he wanted me to work on getting some CP, so. Uh, oh, wow. I am not. I should be. Uh, oh, thank God. <laughs> Scott leaving me with the good Oh, that's not. Yep. Oh, yep. No. Oh, it's heat. No, it's it's very fast. Oh, it's gross. Okay. Yeah, that's not the boy. Yeah. Oh. Wrecking dudes. Oh. Wrecking dudes. Yeah. Yeah, I've never been doing this as well. 
it's a, it's a little tell. It's like you know what if, if you depending on which situation you use the movie and you you kind of you can learn like what's going to come up. It's mm -hmm. just a matter of being familiar with it. I don't. I haven't. Scott spent a lot of time playing this game, so he's he he, he has it all committed to me at this point. Probably like muscle memory, muscle memory too, the, amount the, the number of times this man has watched people play through this game, including himself, is cannot be underestimated. Um, I played through the game probably maybe like twice. Uh, while the, Yakuza Zero was actually the first Yakuza game that I ever like played through from start to finish. Um, I played a lot of the other ones previously, but but it, this was the first one I was really like, okay, this is what's going on here. So mm -hmm. all right, so payout is ready. Um, so what happens here is we take this money um, from this, from these things, and then we're going to reinvest it back in. We reset the clock, and then we we, we go out and do something and re re rinse and repeat. So um, so let's see. We are investing these stores that we've purchased, um, and so we, do we only have those two right now. We only have these two, so we're going to go out and, and find some more. Um, and the point here is that you've got so you've got these manager types here who are good at training certain types of. Of, of stores. Mm -hmm. So this particular store, the Skiaki uh, Muranaka, is like uh, it's obviously a restaurant that serves Skiaki. Mm -hmm. So we got to get the we have this one advisor here who's really good at who's semi good at, at uh, uh, restaurants. Restaurant management. So yeah. we're gonna so she's gonna roll in there, tell people how to how to how to run, run their business, um, and you can do this once per per uh, per reset. Okay. So the circle is good, X is no good, and triangle is maybe. Maybe that's like that's a, that's like Japanese style stuff. So yeah. in Japanese they have a, like in, in, in like English countries you have like A, B, C, and D, but in Japan it's like two circles, one circle, mm -hmm. triangle, triangle, X. <laughs> uh, so that's a little that's something people get a little confused about from time to time. Uh, and we actually um, we kind of uh, debated. Late in the late in the project, this is mm -hmm. it's not only in this game, but also in the uh, the Majima Cabaret Club mm -hmm. management. Yes. They have the same. They use the same kind of thing. And we actually was brought up kind of late in the project of like, shouldn't we change these two yeah, letters? Do these make sense? Do, should we not tweet it? With, but then we were like, we were kind of it was a little, a little lazy, but we were like, eh, it's in Japan, it's Japan style, <laughs> it's fine, just leave it, no problem. I feel like the tutorial should probably yeah, tell you all about it too. Yeah. So. What? What? Triangle, oh, the, reading? Tri triangle doesn't mean something to you? Come on. Yeah. Yeah, Japan. Yeah. Japan. Come on, even everyone, even elementary school kids know that. In Japan. Oh, oh. In Japan. Excuse us. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let, let, let's see if we can find some places. I think this place is somewhere I can purchase. Health Wild Apple. Apple. It's a, it is a small, erotic, mm. erotic massage parlor. <laughs> Uh, it's good, good traffic. Can I? Do I have enough money? See, I don't. So that's the problem here. So yeah, you need you need about five million more. I need about five million more. Uh, so <laughs> let's go be with you. Let's try to see if we can complete some. Oh, oh. who's talking? Here? Did you save somebody? I think. Oh, it's probably in the park here. There's always someone getting picked on. Oh, the there park. you go. Let's save some people here. Yeah. So I remember one time I saved somebody and they gave me about a leopard print fur. Jacket or coat or something like that. It was worth so much money. <laughs> what I really like about these. It, it's a cool thing. One of the cool touches in this game is like uh, they they when they put in these um, these intervention events. Like you can walk up and like talk to them and be like, I'm intervening, or you could just stand there and like stare at them. And they go and, <laughs> and then, like, you and then help? yeah and then, yeah and then and then they're like and then they're like, Yo, what are you looking at? You see something funny? All right, let's wreck this guy. And you're like, Okay, come on. Oh. <laughs> so there's actually a little bit of uh, you, can, you can approach the situation too. I want to say the payouts are slightly different if you do it that way, um, but uh, slightly battered uh, stamina. Morale. So this is uh, we were talking about this last time. Um, mm -hmm. How we in localization we sometimes put these like adjectives in front of like variables mm -hmm. because it make it get, lets us get around the whole a versus an. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Because that, because that, because that, that, that item could be anything. It could be, yeah, yeah. We, I know running into that for one of the other projects that I've worked on, we had the yeah. same exact issue where you had to write the sentence so it could make sense as, like, it is a, like, whatever came after it, so. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, we, uh, that's something that, uh, we discovered kind of early on in our careers. So it's like an interesting way of um, all right, so, let's see. Let's, um, what are we doing more with Oh, everyone wants to attack me. Come on, guys. Probably have to stuff like this. 
I do need the money. I do need the money. This is gonna be a day of, of me basically rocking guys. And I'm sure, and Scott's gonna know like all the tricks and trade to like make sure that. Uh, and he's gonna come back and be like, you, didn't like, you guys, yeah, you guys didn't do this. You didn't. You uh, come on, Sam. You, don't you know you, you can do this thing to make all this cash? Like, When I want to make cash, I just go and like put, put go all in on Mahjong, dude. But I don't think everyone wants to watch. Like, no, no, no one wants to watch me like watch me play a Mahjong for an hour. No one wants to watch that. Maybe next time when we do our Mahjong tutorial, <laughs> if we do it. Yeah. Maybe Mahjong tutorial. It'd be a fun video series. Yeah. Teach people how to play Mahjong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And okay. I still, like, I feel like I have a pretty good handle on Mahjong at this point, mm -hmm. um, but I don't know how to, all the scoring works and all that. That's the, that's the one thing I'm not 100% clear on. Uh, uh, oh! Uh, uh, this, I think we're going to do this one, guys. You want to do this one? I think we're going to do this one, guys. So if you were at E3, this was one of the subquests that we had in our demos. And mm -hmm. you might recognize it, you might not. Or if you've played the game, you probably will recognize it. This is, what you, one. this is what I, this is because it was in our demo. It was like one of the one of the the, um, the, the side quests that got mm -hmm. like mo the most scrutiny. <laughs> so like like <laughs> like Scott Scott got to watch literally like hundreds of people play the subquest before it actually went out. So he was able to like go through and be like, oh, people will get confused by this part, or oh, this line could be written better, or oh, this is supposed to be funny, but no one laughs. So I'm going to change it a little bit. Uh -huh. you usually, don't get that 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 level of um, chance to. Uh, uh, level of like polish or seeing how mm -hmm. people react to his stuff. Okay, poor Ayu. She's doing her best. She's trying. She tries. She's trying. She's trying. Not everyone gets into a job that they excel at, but the thing about mm -hmm. Ayu is that she really wants to improve. Uh, you know, that's that's what it is. It's okay to 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 uh, not be amazing when you first start a pretty good job, but she's she's striving to uh, yes. to do what she can. Yes. Poor girl. Of course we can saw her. Let's go. <laughs> Come on, Kiryu. We're gonna Boy. take care of her. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Kiryu's all, pretty, Kiryu's all like, why can they not, please not do this in the street? <laughs> Never rebuke. So, so this is, this is crazy. Like, mm -hmm. so, so she goes, she goes and gets a job. It's like complete opposite of, of what, what she is to, to, to is. improve herself. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> this is incredible. This is, uh, I don't think anyone ever does this. So, I know, puts so, himself in a hot seat situation. Just, just so they can, jumps in deep so they can, mm -hmm. so they can, uh, uh, do what they, do what they, become the person they always wanted to be. But she has no talent for it. Of course. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't apologize. Don't apologize. Uh-oh. Keep you stepping uh -huh. in. Keep you stepping uh -huh. in. Bad for business, guys. <laughs> He's like, I'm not a customer. I'm not a <laughs> Bacon boy? Oh, man. Oh, this is great. Widow mask just picky whoops took a punch. I'm a right. Alright. Okay. I'm gonna shut up. And then I Feisty one. The feisty one. Right. So how's it going out there in internet lane? How you guys? How's this fr Friday for you guys? Everything? Your week? Was your week pretty good? We had a really busy week. Yeah. Really, really crazy week. And then Scott leaves me. 
Yeah. He's here with us in spirit. He's right here. Not spirit. Scott, right here. There's his name. Hold on. There. Right there. <laughs> Okay. He's probably watching us again. Yeah, no, he's a, yeah, yeah. I don't know. He's like Scott's probably no. He's 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 on vacation. It's Veterans Day. He's out. No mm. need punish people. Hi. Be like you berate people yeah. the way you do. I don't know about that lady. We gotta help her. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> if you insist, it took I took a lot you. of convincing. Uh. Okay. <laughs> He, he's so he's always so like he's got such an open heart. Mm. He's so he's so kind. Willing to, uh, willing to help a anyone. lot of sticky situations though. Yeah. Like this, for example. Could you imagine coming home and telling your friends, like, mm, I helped out a dominatrix today. She couldn't hit people, so I taught her how. <laughs> I think I could. I I can't imagine that now, now that I've <laughs> experienced the beauty that is it is Yakuza Zero, so. Mm. Okay, so she's gonna walk me through. She understands, obviously, she understands the theory mm -hmm. of what it means to have SM, uh, uh, SM play here. So uh, she's going to walk him through it, but she's, it's, the, it's the execution she's having a deal have to, she's with. Uh, well, you did sign up for this, Kidu. You did sign up for it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. You're backing out now, my friend. Yep, can't back out now, that's right. <laughs> okay, let's go, Katie. What you got? Out here in the park. I know. <laughs> Which is funny, because he's like, we don't want this on the street, so let's go to the park instead. <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah, she's bringing, so the thing, she's bringing this whole, like, customer, uh, you, know, uh, you know, business versus customer kind of thing here to it, which is not necessarily what should be going on here. You're the boss. The boss. <laughs> so you're gonna go on soon? <laughs> this is all. This is all soon, soon, soon style right here. Um, we don't want to be soon, soon. We want to. I actually kind of want to be soon, soon. <laughs> Do you? Yeah. Let's be soon, soon. Because everyone picks. Oh, everyone always picks by default the uh, the correct one. So we're gonna. Yeah. We're, we're trying to give everyone an experience uh, of what it's like oh. to to. The other, the other, because all, because all the the choices are, as far as Kiryu is concerned, all these choices are correct. We, we were talking about this previously, but mm -hmm. the great thing about the Yakuza series is that, unlike a lot of series where it's like, when you choose the wrong thing, it sometimes like pun sort of like punishes like you. yeah, like passive aggressive punishes you for being mm -hmm. an idiot. But Kiryu, he he is behind every single decision, every single time. So. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm able to draw the attention and simulate. Let's see. And it's a cool thing. So I think she takes, she'll take all this uh, forward and mm -hmm. uh, apply it to, to her. Her future. Her future. Oh, <laughs> oh that's not right. I want done to me. Oh no. These are all pretty, uh, pretty, pretty on serious. point. These are pretty on point here. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this one. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this in a, in a video recently. Actually, yeah. How many videos have you been watching? <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen this in a, in, a, in a different trailer recently. Oh. Yeah, a relevant trailer, so. good because he knows he knows he knows the responses to all the uh, all the uh, paths that I don't necessarily mm -hmm. know. Oh no. Uh. Okay, here we go. Retry. Are you setting her up Redo. for success? No, I'm not setting her up for success. 
Everyone's already seen her. Everyone at home always sets her up for success. Because that's where you get the best items. When you do it, when you do it certain ways, you get better items. But we need those items so we can sell them and we can make money. <laughs> that's true. That's true. This is the great one. This is the one that everyone everyone caps. What am I doing with my life? Uh oh. No, Tina, you got kids. No, 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 no. This has gotten complicated. <laughs> Innocent kid, pure-hearted girl. We're not playing. Actually, I thought we were playing. Yeah. No, control. Yeah, I can't imagine. I can't imagine being in the situation that Kidu is in right now. If you had kids, kids all all up in your face, uh, doing this, but maintaining, maintaining. Like what's going on? Mm -hmm. Maintaining the, the, the focus on the situation. Get him, buddy. Get him. Just keep, 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 keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. <laughs> Grown-ups are weird. <laughs> Grown-ups are weird. Uh. <laughs> no, no, no. So now we get to watch her, all of her training in action. Uh-oh. Too much, Ayu. You asked too much, too much Hi. to bring me into this. I don't need to watch. Kido doesn't want to watch this this happening necessarily. But now it's time to see all of this training. Let's see how this plays out. I definitely did not choose necessarily all the all the correct options. So we're gonna see how, <laughs> how these how these play how this play out. Well, maybe he's into soon today. I mean, he might be. That's very that's very true. There you go. It's not like I care what you think anyway. But I'm glad. Oh, he liked that. See? <laughs> a little, a little, a little ahead of the time, right? A little, a little ahead of uh, the curve, like tw like 15, 15 years ahead of Sindere, the trope or so. Maybe that's not true. It's probably you know, not, not so true. But... Uh oh. Assume the position. When are you going to uh -oh. do Ayu Chan? <laughs> Can you, you're very bad at, at very bad at hiding, but especially it, the white suit. The white suit. <laughs> Just like, it's not working. Oh, no. You've been a better, yeah. You would have been better in a better, better position if you kept to the black suit. But now, now that decision is coming back to bite you. He likes his suit. It's a good seat. We were talking about how how amazing that shirt is. The, oh, the, 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 the shirt, the shirt is crazy because it's it, it's really like uh, subtle because he's got the, the plain white suit on top of it. But uh, but if you took off the top of the jacket, it'd be it, like so loud. It would be really loud. Thumbs way up. Good job. Good job, Ayu. Mm. <laughs> oh no. So we need to. Uh... All right, what you got for me, Ayu? Good job. S and S S is S M Club. S M Club there in the background. See, everybody's got a taste. <laughs> so she's got. <laughs> Come on, wait, she's still applying. She's still. She's still applying the uh, the Cinderella style to it. Yeah. That's good because that gives him a timeline, so he can come back at that yeah. time. Yeah. See, good business sense. <laughs> 
Buffalo still sad. I didn't realize that the, this particular subquest like changed that much when you when you altered the the uh, the, uh, the selection. So she, maybe she's the uh, inventor of the tsundere. <laughs> the tsundere club. It's a, it's a, the tsundere like uh, uh, archetype trope. Yeah, I did see some like you know how they have like main clubs and stuff. They do have like a tsundere club that you could go to. You're really into that. I heard, a, I heard my, my card finder oh, signal. Dirk's in the chat. Everybody not say Sam. hi. <laughs> oh, I'm not Sam. <laughs> oh, Sam. I'm not Scott. This is Sam. Yeah. Not Sam is in the chat now. So everyone oh, say is. hi to him. <laughs> oh, a card. Yeah. You can trade these. You can basically show up to these to these guys throughout the game and get extra And there's stuff. three three versions of each, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. And they get increasingly risque. Mm -hmm. We were talking a lot about it last time. Like we had to, there was a st stage in the location mm -hmm. where we had to go through and confirm all the cards. Oh. <laughs> they, they were proper uh, and uh, linking up against the what was in the original Japanese version. And so one of our translators uh -huh. had, had had these cards like all lined up, scrolling on his screen, and we were like. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's not an HR violation. Or no, anything. I would love to see like the Google, like when you're actually googling who they are, and be like, oh. oh. Don't do that, <laughs> or don't do that at work. Yeah. Definitely don't Google any. I'm looking for a a beast, a the series wide uh, place where you go and sell stuff. Oh, yeah. Fireball Super, thank you for your kind words. <laughs> Let me try to sell some items. And my at this point my uh, oh I can't sell. I don't have anything worth selling. Okay. I thought I had some. I, I seem to recall us getting like a plate or something earlier. Mm, I don't think we got a plate this uh, this today. Okay. Maybe last time. Maybe last time. But it looks like we didn't get it. So maybe we, I yeah. think we might have sold it off stream or something like that. So okay. Well, let's see. Let's check to see what how, how our shinogi is going. All right, it's ready. I'm gonna circle back around there. <laughs> River Mark, uh, Scott is on vacay today, so I am not Scott filling in. <laughs> Everyone's like, who's that? <laughs> not Scott. Not Scott. Not Scott. See, I have a title right here. Shit, here it is. Not Scott. <laughs> okay. Oh, pachinko. There's a. There was actually a way to, um, I think I might go to check. No, oh, I can't. Your payout is ready. Yeah, my payout is ready. So I'm going to go get that. Mm -hmm. I am going to use that to buy some new areas. Uh, and then, oh, that's the, so, so again, by clearing various subquests, you get man, the, some of the people in those, those subquests come back as managers. Mm -hmm. So like the, by clearing this piggy man, piggy man <laughs> quest, uh, he's come back. Familiar and, uh, looking man. He's, uh. He's going to be a manager. I wonder what his uh, specialty is. I think he's a manager. Of? Uh, he's like a, he's like a, one of those people you send. No, uh, yeah, but I mean what his uh, real estate specialty is. He says, he says he's a consultant, I guess. Oh. So. <laughs> Straight man on the streets, freaking the sheets. <laughs> Mr. Levito in training. Okay, payout time. Change, my, change the manager and security uh, guys. Uh, because they're going to be. So, S S Scott was always saying, like, you know, he was saying that some people don't quite understand the. Uh, uh, I'm actually going to wait on this. Um, uh, so, I guess that's where they are right now. So, on the next round, we'll have to swap them out because what happens is. Every time you run a payout, mm -hmm. it, that little marker there, the zero, 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 it moves one to the right. And so what happens is after the next time, when it maxes out, they'll get negative bonuses. So uh, I'll have, have to swap them out with somebody else. Um, okay. So, so since, actually, so I, might, I, might well, I, might, I might as well go for it. Mm -hmm. He's cheaper and he's going to be. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's, the, bag, the, the crappy guys are kind of crappy. 
There's no bonus. It's all negative for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's got that wine bonus. I'm just gonna. Have a I don't know this for. I just have a big chest. Gun gun kasugaze. Gun gun kasugaze. All right. Spooky chair. All right. The main the main driver of revenue on this thing is how many stores you have. So you can reinvest into stores um, mm -hmm. that you already have if you want to, but it's usually better to just uh, pick up pick up new ones. And I might be able so to we should probably find a new yeah. location the, to take care the of. The pink pachinkos are usually pretty good at driving the revenue, but I don't. But it's not an older clientele, so I mean that might not be an issue. No, it's uh, it just means that. Let's see. Let's, let's see what my options are. So this is where, yeah, we were discussing this last time. Is like the, the unfortunate thing is like all the, um, all the uh, locations are on this menu. That mm -hmm. these are all list all the places in this district that you can pick up, but they're all in English and all the signs are in Japanese. So it's kind of <laughs> some, some can be kind of difficult to uh, find them. To find them. Um, and I think in this particular district, I want to say I know Sushi Gin is one that you actually have to you have to like subquest to get. Mm -hmm. um, and Popo might be as well. Um, but usually these these pachinko places are the ones that are like the huge, the big, big revenue drivers. But it's, this is new to me. Let's pick this place up. Right. So we need to go assign a manager to it. Uh, or does it come? It's it's already it's already no it's already um. It, so the managers you you basically apply them on a, on a, they, they don't get assigned to. They don't get assigned to locations. Mm -hmm. You say this manager against this location, and then it's like a one-time like mm. shot of like boost uh, that drives up the, the sort of the investment level in that particular uh, uh, store. Um, but right now we're just waiting for this thing to pay out to. Uh, so how far this. away are we from everybody's favorite manager? Oh. Which we, we, oh, that one. <laughs> oh, we'd have to go. We'd have to. Uh, Spend some time in a minigame that I'm not terribly good at, but uh, we can always try. I like the character in that in that building though. She's really cool. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know what we probably should do? I wonder if I can if we have a spare CP we can burn on uh, making this go a little bit faster. Oh, we have a ton. I'm sorry, Scott. I'm sorry, Scott. We're gonna use some CP. <laughs> This, you can use CP to boost your um, mm -hmm. your, your, your speed, and we want more money. Oh, we don't have the CP. Uh, yeah, you only have uh, two, 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 five. Five. You need one more. So. so it's funny. I was actually in um, Shinjuku, and we went in for, over to Kubukicho. And when I was walking around the streets, and you definitely looks like the city, but we ran across a, a shrine that was under construction, so it was just like empty, nobody was there, and I was mm -hmm, kind of mm -hmm. expecting to show up, it's kind of strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's weird. Like when you go over to Kabuki mm -hmm. Show, it's 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 even if you've never been there, before, if you've played a lot of Yakuza, like you, you know when you, you are. go there, you're it's like this. Like I feel like I've been here in another yeah, life. Yeah, like the the one the one cut scene when like Tachibana is doing like the the hand thing with all the lights, and you can see the entirety of yeah, the, square. the square. Like there. all of those buildings, I remember where they are. There's like this big VR zone in one of the in one of the buildings there now, and it was just like, I know where this is. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, it's like, you don't, you can't really get lost, you just generally know, like, where you are, mm -hmm. and where you need to go to, 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 to find certain things. Alright, All right, let's, let's go. And then we'll, just, we'll do some bowling, we'll do like a quick round of bowling. Yeah. Yeah. Well, depending on, on where, we really probably should. I think Scott really wants us to focus on the uh, getting this Luigi King thing, so which, which I got. We will, we will get our favorite Luigi <laughs> You gotta get that, that. The requirements for that are really insane, though. You gotta get like that. Yeah, I. It's pretty rough. You gotta get a turkey, which is like all strikes. Are you any good at bowling? Like like real life bowling? No. Because I suck at bowling. I'm right? awful at bowling. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I'm embarrassed. So bad at bowling to the point of like I'm not even gonna say what my my, my yeah. score is. My my husband and his family are like all incredibly good at bowling, and it's shocking because we'll go there for like Christmas and stuff. And they all want to go bowling. I'm like, okay, no problem. And they're all consistently rolling strikes, and I'm just like, I'm gonna sit here in the back and watch you guys. It's embarrassing how bad. How yeah. Bad my, uh... Like there was one time where we went, and he, so his name is Dave, and 
Nobody else wanted to play another game because Dave just whooped us so bad. So he played his own game by himself. And he like does this thing where he curves the ball. So it like curves in, goes to the side, spins around, and then shoots down the middle. And I'm just like, I have no idea. What? Yeah. Like Pete, that, that's like something you can do in a video game. But that's, yeah. Like real life people can do that. Yeah, he does it just like consistently. How do you? How? Time. What, what is that? Is that like a, a like family goes out and uh, does consistent? I guess they just had a lot of experience bowling. bowling. My. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, it's, it's still teaching me how to play. Ah. I know how to play, guys. Huh. I think. I need bumpers. Oh. Eight, I, did, I didn't do. I didn't do that. That was oh. that was tutorial. That was tutorial. Mm. I don't think I did that. That was tutorial. Hmm. All right, here we go. You yeah. guys. People, I tell people I'm really bad at bowling, and, and, and they usually don't believe me, mm -hmm. like how bad I am. And they're like, that, there's no way you're really that bad. And I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> well, you're going to be disappointed. Oh, that's not bad. It's better than real life sand bowling, that's for sure. <laughs> Do you get like the... What is it, the elephant? You just drop the ball down it. <laughs> Not quite that bad, but but it's it's pretty it, it it's pretty inconsistent. Um, I'm more of a I was more of a oops, oh. I was more of a golf player as a kid. Uh. Honestly. Uh, hmm. Oh hey. Uh, I wasn't even a very good golf player though. Um, but I did play a lot of golf. I was on the golf team in high school. But there's a golf game in this game, so it doesn't. No. Doesn't really help me. She's older than me. That's not allowed. Yeah, I don't know. She works here. And I don't know. That's like meat bowling right there. Sugi does it. I I have unfortunate gutter ball syndrome, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, those that those heels. No, that's not okay. I never noticed that before. Good, good eye. How, how, how does that even work? Dude. She's being she's distracted by my incredible. Yeah, Etherwind, you are correct. Akiyama is in five and six. Hmm. Oh. Maybe we're on our way. <laughs> A little bit of screen lag, just ever so screen lag. So that's kind of, the, I think that was what was throwing me off last time. I'm like, oh, I got. now you've calculated. I gotta compensate right? for that a little bit. <laughs> screen lag, lag is like the the the, uh, the bane of like modern gaming. Mm -hmm. You know. I think she's took off the training wheels. <laughs> it's like, okay, you figured it out. Now I can go. Yeah, I think the comm is like compensating for. It. For, uh, for, for, for my skill level. She was trying to show me up the first round. Mm. Oh no! <laughs> Oop, that's not gonna end well. Huh. What can you do, right? Like when you're bad timing, and I did what I could, so I did this right this time. Okay. You gonna curve it in? No, I'm gonna. Ooh. Huh. Does the weight on the ball differ too? Yes. Yes. The uh, the, the I think the heavier balls mm -hmm. are a little bit more. Um, mm -hmm. they have more inertia when they hit hit the. Uh, the pins, which mm -hmm. causes them to spread farther, but you don't get as much like the spinning. You gotta hit, you gotta spin it like really hard to get it. Oh, uh, I move. see. Mm -hmm. Let's 
Let's go to the challenge. What you guys got going on here? We got who's been paying attention? Paying attention. I answered. Oh, you got you got answer over there. Okay. Oh, also, I think um, that's right. The um, the ball weight, I think, also affects like how fast you. How, how it... No, no, how, the, how that, that, that little, the, the arrow thing, it's like click, 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 oh, click, click, click. Oh, I think I it, it affects the speed of that as well. It makes it a little harder. Yay, you did it! I don't think this gives me money, though. <sighs> Where's the diamond? Emery. Emery. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The angle of my bottom. <laughs> Bowling form fetish. Hi. So you have to. This is. Mm, I think. So M and E. You like. You have to. Um, uh, this is another one. Like once we get to this area within the the, the uh, real estate stuff, you have to complete her her mm, bond mm. to get okay. control of the mock bowl. Yeah, that's a that's a thing. I think. Uh, oh. Oh, do you have an accessory on that rings? Yes. Oh, you can get the more money now. Oh, yep. Oh, here we go. Okay. Is that more money or is that... Can, the, we speed, can we speed up? I think it was the... You can get more money because that's the one we were trying to get, but we were one point. Okay, let me go check that. Because if I can get if I can speed up the, the recharge on the thing, then that's fine. Mm -hmm. I think... Hopefully, Scott agrees with that. <laughs> that He's going to come Sorry, back. Sorry, like, Scott. What? He's gonna go back and be like, "You've mis you've misappropriated funds all over the place." Oh, so you... while we're doing our money payout, do we want to show what the Ellie looks like? Yeah, yeah, go for it. You gotta oh, click oh, the oh, thing over there. Which one? There's a uh, there's the. That's the premium. So let's uh go hit the premium edition first. Okay, here yep. it is. All right, guys. So um, the uh yeah so. Just to take a moment to plug the Yakuza 6, The Song of Life Premium Edition. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, we mentioned this on last time. You know, the game comes out in uh, in March, uh, but uh, these uh, premium editions are, like, going fast. So yeah. if you want to get on this, um, definitely check it out uh, at your local, wherever you order your games from, mm -hmm. whether they're online uh, brick-and-mortar stores. Get your pre-orders in for that now because they're running out. Um, and but of course the other uh, the launch edition is just as compelling. Um, you get this amazing. Uh, you're gonna get an art book that's full chock full of like uh, fan art from the fan art contest that we mm -hmm. ran a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know that's not this is not a special edition. You don't pay extra for this. You know it's just a thanks for you guys you know, yeah. putting your money down uh, and and telling us that you want to see Yakuza Six. Yeah, this is our our limited launch edition. Uh, we will be showing a little bit more of the art book soon. So. Keep, you know, keep watching. Keep figuring it out. It's going to be really good, too. And I, I I, really like how this thing is shaping up to be. Yeah, yeah. It's really, really compelling stuff. Um, and uh, we should be able to announce, I think uh, last time we were talking about how we uh, were going to um, talk a little bit more about this, mm -hmm. about what it looks like later in the month. So stay tuned. Um, that's coming, coming very, very soon. So, yes. All right. Yeah. So we're going to... Uh, Going to do some investing here. Can I get some, who is that? Who, who, my Garrett, that, that's this guy, Piggy. So he's oh, he's good at, he's good at building management, I yes. think. So that's not he, he's not going to help me in anything. Not yet. Not yet. And if you're always, as always, if you're ever confused with who any of these characters are or where any of these locations are, we also do have our Yakuza Experience website on the lower hand corner over here. Um, it's really cool, it's interactive, you can like move around the little modules and so on and so forth. There's spoiler filters on it too, so if you don't want to see what happens in uh, Kiwami, for example, you just want to solely stick with zero, you can always do that. So I highly recommend checking that out. We also got um, a couple comic chapters up on there, there that are animated, so they, they whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. Oh, I ran out of money. Oh, okay. okay. I, say, <laughs> I, I got a little too ahead of my investment there, so I'm going to have to go grab some cash real quick. Ah, that sucks. Um, yeah, yeah, the, uh, we were, yeah, the, uh, the, the experience site, like, uh, Scott sent me, uh, like, a prototype of one of the comic, mm -hmm. upcoming comics mm -hmm. just the other day, 
It's like, hey, looking at this script right now, what do you, you know, what's going on here? So. Yeah, and what's the cool thing about the comics too is that they're kind of like, they're not what you've already seen before if you're already familiar with what happens in the games. They're kind of like little side stories or like different viewpoints from other characters. So a lot of them actually, uh, for example, they'll go off of like Haruka's viewpoint of what happened in Kiwami, which is pretty interesting because it doesn't actually show that in the game. I mismanaged my funds. Like I just like I, said, I told Scott, I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna mismanage your funds." Uh, but now it's a problem because I didn't have enough money to uh, start the, uh, the 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 whole collection thing. So I gotta beat up some dudes to to top off my, my money here. You got your bitch. And if you want to know if your Romeo is in the art book, you'll just have to get. <laughs> Girl, Girl, <laughs> Alright, I think that's what I needed. I needed basically, I think I needed 200,000. So let's see that clearly. No, I don't have 200,000. Oh, yeah. Oh, watch this. I was saying here, watch this. Watch this. Just stand here. Look at these guys. Oh, they do turn to you. I can never wait. I'm too much of like a sleepy guy. Scott's constantly complaining about the fact that he's like sm smoked a key to you can't run very far unless he has that all, this, all the CP bonuses. <laughs> well, that makes sense. I have enough money for the game. Yes. Okay, there you go. Alright. So a lot of, we're just doing the. A lot of back and forth. We're doing the back and forth. That's, that was the thing. That was all Scott. He, he planned it this way. He's like. The stream that I that I'm not gonna be on, you're just gonna be doing the busy work, Sam. Oh, he set you up for it. He did. He did. <laughs> this is totally planned. This is totally planned. That guy. Ooh. I gotta set it up for success. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For when he comes back. When he comes back. Move forward with the story. I mean, because we don't really. I mean, that that's the thing. Also, is like he's so familiar with all the like ins and outs of the story mm -hmm. that it's. It, I kind of don't want. I honestly don't really want to skip into the story no. without him around because. Uh, well, because he can give a lot of inside information about it too. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's like office feng shui. He can change the way the yeah, office. Yeah, but looks. we had the the money magnet. That's the one that we were looking at earlier. Yeah, that's probably what I'm doing. Thing where he sleeps in the park. That's, that's really useful, actually. With our, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but our nice April Fool's joke that we did about Mr. Shakedown. Yep. Yeah. Did you guys, yeah, did you guys catch that? <laughs> what was it? The. Uh, I think it was like you X. It was like a super. It was like a super secret code to, to make it so uh, Mr. Shakedown doesn't doesn't wake, wake up. up. <laughs> I don't know if anyone fell for that. <laughs> Oh, we're talking cat! I love cat! Yeah, the cat, uh, cat, the cafe in the NY6. So you have to go around, you have to carry a little cat food on you, and you have to go find the cats and feed them and become friends with them, and you can take them home. Which sounds like a crazy cat person, but that's me, so... Did, uh, did, um, is that, is, is that phone line thing? Mm -hmm. for the, that phone line is still, still open. open. Did you guys, guys give it, if, you get, if anyone, uh, if, 
Why don't you explain that execution that we did for, or that thing we did? For yeah, so three. if you've been to Japan, you'll know that a lot of advertisements they do is on tissue paper, so they'll hand you out and they'll have a little like information card about it. So we had a phone number on there, and I think it was 1 800 Yakuza 6, is what I want to say it was. And you could call in, and one half of it was for Onomichi tourism, and the other hat was for the Cat Cat Bay. So you can leave me a, like a sweet message about why you like cats and how you're excited about Yakuza 6. But that phone line is still open if you would like to leave me a message. Well, there's a lot of different cats too, and they all have their own different personalities. Yeah. You have to manage them. Yeah, the, the thing is in that game, it's interesting because like all the different cats have. So there's. So just giving for a, a little little focus on your office. Mm -hmm. There's like uh, all these different kinds of cat foods. Yeah. Uh, and you have to like. And some cats it, snob it. Some, some, yeah, some cats are like, oh, I don't want to eat tuna. I'm only, <laughs> I'm only into this or whatever. The grade A stuff. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so you gotta kind of figure out which one's like what. Mm -hmm. You gotta earn their trust. And there actually is like a cat cafe in that area in Japan. If you ever want to go there, that's like your thing. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh. It, this is what I think it is. It's a. <laughs> oh, it's a producer. Yeah. Or yeah. Yeah, pop, yeah pop, pop Leon. Puppy. K, uh, Kato. Puppy Chan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, he's the director. You were. The director. That's right. That that's what it was. I was the producer. And he was mm -hmm. the director. Uh oh. <laughs> he's got a new job. Yeah. Uh, uh oh. Oh. Who, I don't know who Miracle Johnson is. Oh, that's what, oh because we heard he he overheard these other two like these American culture fanatics, these American otaku guys talking about this Miracle ja Jackson guy, uh, and uh, he's both famous. But Kiyu's not really like a. He's not up to speed. He's, not on to speed. he's got he's got other things he's focused on, you know. Say la vie. Uh, someone he can trust to help help handle this. <laughs> um, we're gonna come back to this after I reset. Oh no! Okay. The thing. But we have to make sure we do it. Yeah, we, gotta, we, gotta, we should do this one because because mm -hmm. because that character is actually a really um, a really good character to have in your in your business stuff. You, you, actually, you get you get him as a manager. Um, we're gonna do something one other something else real quick before we come but back. But we, we will come back to we'll it. Come back to that. We'll come back to Don't that. worry, sugar tank. Woo. Just gonna run around like that. Meter fill up, and then trying to be efficient. Trying to be somewhat efficient uh, about. What we're doing. Just to get oh, oh, we'll beat him up. Where are they going? Running from me. Where I am. You're the beast. I just like, uh, version I always see evil people trash talking beast mode sometimes. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. It's bad. It's bad. I will, I, I it's will admit, most beast mode is probably the one I would pick the least. Yeah, just because it's not, not my thing. It's, everything is a weapon. It hits hard. Um, I love it. I love everything about it. it makes me very happy. <laughs> but that's cool. That's I mean that that's just a hallmark to you know a good game because it, it appeals to all kinds of different mm -hmm. types. And yeah, you're not like locked into one specific type thing. Yeah. Just wait for this to fill up. Almost there. A little bit. Almost there. Just hunting dudes, hunting bad guys, patrolling the streets. Keeping cover safe. <laughs> walk these guys down. Okay, 
bitch. So it took me a while to figure out like what actually happens in that particular heat move. It was, it was a little unknown obvious at first. But basically what he does he throws it up above the guy's head and then he punches the dude up, up into, into it. Into it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, a lot of the heat moves are really creative. Yeah. I still think one of the most brutal ones ever, ever, I've ever. Well, there's a lot of brutal ones, but the one I remember the, first, the 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 heat move that I was like, man, this game is not messing around. Was there's this uh, move in Yakuza Five, I believe, called the called the uh, uh, called the uh, Essence of Face Grading. And it's this one where he basically like smashes the guy into the into the concrete and just drags the face across, across it. Firefall Super, I'm with you. I like the drop kick as well. I think it's very satisfying, okay. especially when you get like the end screen where it freezes for a little bit. It's good. <laughs> okay, pay out time. Nice. Okay, so we still don't have enough money to go buy any place. The new, the new locations are all like. They're like 18. Yeah, like 10, 10 somewhere between fi the 15 million range, so we still don't quite have what we need to get there. So we're, we're gonna keep focusing on. I need to be careful using Piggy Man because oh, this homeboy is expensive. <laughs> Look at that, two million. Ooh. Yeah, we will wait on him. But he's good. Well, he's only he's, he's only got a, a double he's a, circle. No, he doesn't have a dirt. He has a single circle. For the for the poverty manager, he's got double circle. Yeah, but I don't have any ones that have that. They need that right now. Yeah. So yeah, he's a little he's a lot of time at price range. We're still small time small time here uh, at uh, this particular real estate agency. Oh, sugar tick, I got this shirt from here, actually. So, sorry. <laughs> it's a Yakuza 5 one. Yeah, oh yeah, that was mm -hmm. one of our one of our giveaways for the, um, during that time period. Yeah, yeah. It goes all the way across the back, too, so it's pretty sweet. I remember, I remember when they were building that, uh, that particular shirt, and, and this is like the so, some behind the scenes stuff that uh, people don't really think about. But yeah. apparently, getting it so the uh, so the dragon crosses the shoulder cro properly and having all these like parts like uh, match up is was actually like a lot of work. Yeah. Like on the design <laughs> side, uh, but uh, but it yeah. turned out really good. So I I like the shirt. <laughs> Okay. On a Majin Machin too, because his arm, he's got the sleeves as well, mm. and onto the, the chest. I think that'd be really cool. Okay. Puppy line. Yeah. Oh. oh. Wait, go fight! Oh no, it's Mr. What, what do I have, Sneakdown! What, what do I have to lose here? Uh, four million. To gain eight million? Can you do it? I can! It just, I don't, I need a, I need enough um, health potions to like, to not make it a problem. I can, I, I can try. Let's try it. I know, the worst is we lose money and then we go get it again. So. Yeah, the worst is we lose money and we go get it again. So let's try it. Let's see. If Fortune Braver is the bold, so let's go. Oh, you know what, but going into it, this isn't uh, Yakuza 6. So in Yakuza 6, I can just walk in and mm -hmm. not, not generate a loading screen. But I don't know if he's gonna be there when I get back outside. Uh, I think he's yeah, to be there. Oh, but that's our friend, so maybe yeah, 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 so. Uh, I need I do I do need to buy some of these um buy some additional items here. So let's just get this done so we have them. So just think you can actually start with either Zero or Kiwami. Um Zero will give you a little bit more insight of why Kiwami has some aspects to it, but Kiwami is the first game in the Yakuza series, so you, it's whatever you would feel like most comfortable with. And if you, if, 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 you know, if, if the full price point for Yakuza 0 isn't a problem for you, then maybe start with Yakuza 0. Mm -hmm. If you want to put, you know, 
get your feet wet, wet before you jump in. Um, before you ready to commit, maybe you start with Kiwami because you know, it's only twenty nine nine nine. Mm-hmm. Um, but they're very similar. Like the contents, not the same, but it's you know the yeah. gameplay is really similar. Um, and so you'll know you'll know if you're a fan of the series if you start with either one. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's let's see. Yeah, there's let's no go. risk in either of them. You're not. It wouldn't be like you miss out on anything. It'd just be more. Kiwami Whoa. is number one, and then zero is the prologue. So you would get a little bit more like information, but like about some of the characters. Yeah. There are some things. Um, there are there are some things in zero, like some of the subquests that they set up in for the first time in zero, and then they move into kind, they move into they kind of continue it into Kiwami, um, because that's the release order of those two products. But Kiwami is the very first game, mm-hmm. so I, I wouldn't say either one's preferable. It just kind of depends on how you want to approach. Your whole thing. Yeah. If you don't mind dropping fifty nine ninety nine, maybe zero. If you want, to, like I said, if you want to get your feet wet, start with Kiwami. Mm-hmm. Ninety. Zombies. <laughs> so he got wind of that. He blew his stack. Okay. So, uh, us Westerners are just so crazy. Oh, actually, you know what? I think for this, if I recall correctly, this chain of, of subquests actually has another one after this. So this is the first one, and then there's another one later, I want to say. But when do we meet Miracle Johnson? Maybe not, maybe not. Maybe I take that back. Actually, I take that back. <laughs> I forgot that. I forgot they had this cut part in here. Oh. Brains, bronze, balls, and the modern media, mass media. Oh. There he is! No. <laughs> spining? Stephen Spining. Stephen Spining. That's totally not a reference to anyone in real life. No, 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 no. He, I don't, he doesn't even look similar. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> that's, not, that's, not a, uh, that's not a real person. This is just a random character. All likeness is just a coincidence. <laughs> hey, Lewis. <laughs> Howdy. Uh. <laughs> if I recall correctly, actually, uh, when we were localizing this, I think there was a big discussion about like how we were going to render the um, his the last name correctly. Uh, but then we realized, like, it's literally written on his hat. So we're like, oh. Oh, we had to go with it. It, it, it kind of is what it is. Uh, Indian jeans. E.T. <laughs> <sighs> I need to cycle over the moon. Poor Kiryu living under a rock. (laughs) He's just got other things he's focused on, that's all. He's just a busy guy. Uh. Trying not to get shot. And. But you know, but but Kiryu's got a pretty breadth of experience, you know? Mm -hmm. He's a good bowler. He. Mahjong. He, yeah, he's just not up to date. He just doesn't does watch he a lot of movies. Does he have a TV in his apartment? He might just not. No, he actually. I think he, he I does? think we we actually were talking about that. Uh, he in his apartment. I think mm-hmm. believe he does have a small a small CRT oh. uh, hooked up. But how often does he have time to go watch TV? He doesn't like go home and just watch TV. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, I, don't think so. Mm-hmm. I mean, if I recall correctly, he even has a Genesis. Oh. Yeah, he. I recall we were in his uh, in his apartment and it had like the Mega Drive there on the floor. So. Hey. Oh. Hey. I may be misremembering that, but I, I seem to recall that popped up in the in the in the, uh, mm-hmm. in, in the course of that conversation when Nishiki comes over to like visit him and, and talk to him about what's going on. Mm-hmm. Oh, here he is. I just like like all the Who's music. That? All Who's the music. that? Who's hey. that? Hey man. Hey man. 
Magic Johnson himself. No, just flat like, out refuses. Just like, no. no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, right. That's right. <laughs> he just like, I don't know who this man is. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. It's funny, like, um, so a lot of the, um, a little bit of on the, on the localization side. So all the, the, the audio cues for the, like the, these things in the for the English guys, we, we actually wrote a lot of that in because it, it's not necessarily expressed that way, but we think it's so funny that we're like, oh, he's gonna actually say, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> Likewise. You're just like the hey, weirdo is doing some dance yeah. moves in front of me. I have no idea what to do at this moment. <laughs> The world's premier entertainment districts. Zombie hordes suddenly emerge and attack Miracle on the street. Miracle evades the attack, the attacking swarm, dances, dances his way through the land of the of rising sun. Very picture cool. It's gonna be funky. I like how the bartender in the back is also very into this. That ba ba bartender is actually a real recurring character in the series. Mama. Mama. Yeah. Mama-san, I guess. Mama-san. Gotta be your son. Yeah, she, she is uh, a weird friend. Hey! Gotta protect him, because these guys, for whatever, like, like Papillon said, like, these zombies are gonna come at Miracle Johnson, Johnson full force, and because if, if it's not real, then he doesn't want to do it, mm -hmm. so, and Kiju's job is to protect, protect, protect them. Yep, see, compromising my arch trees, betraying our loyal fans. It's funny because like I can totally I can totally appreciate this from the other perspective because uh, you know I've taken um, you know like there's times in my life where I've had to like take people who aren't terribly familiar with Japan to Japan and like explain it exp and like show for them around and whatever and then there's always these situations where as someone who can, who can kind of do both sides where you're, these like the foreigner people who are not familiar with Japan are just doing stuff where you're just like. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Uh, but that and that's kind of what's going on here. Yeah. That was that was literally me and my dad. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Uh. <laughs> We're going in. Dramatic pan. My flashbacks. I got a lot of really good like chauffeuring foreigners around Japan stories, but. A lot of them are not really appropriate for a stream. <laughs> you can ask him on Twitter. A lot of it's like <laughs> throwing people under the bus or like talking about things I can't really be talking about in public. But yeah, there's a lot of funny stuff that goes on in Japan. Japan's a really, really bizarre place for people who are not used We're, to Japanese. Yeah, that, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a really okay. non obvious sort of situation sometimes. So does Nick. So Disney. My uh, my wife. One of my things that my, I love tormenting my wife it, it, is that when I it, it was when I speak to her Japanese, but I use like I like throw on like that first year oh, Japanese no! student oh, no! accent onto stuff like that. <laughs> oh, it drives her. She's like, stop. <laughs> Samurai. Konnichiwa. Tashi no namai wa Sam desu. Sam desu. You know, like that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh, she's she's like, stop it. Okay. I remember having a lot of trouble about this with this uh, last time, a couple times I've played it uh, in the past. Uh, so I'm not. Good luck, Sam. I, I'm not 100% confident I can clear this on my first shot. Everybody say good luck, Sam. <laughs> it's gonna make me think of that time that I embarrassed myself in front of the dish sign. Oh. <laughs> Did I ever tell you that story? Yeah, I remember you telling me, but maybe you didn't tell the stream. I, I think maybe I didn't tell the stream, but yeah, there was a time I uh, totally embarrassed myself on a, uh, on a stream, a binary domain stream. Uh, we, we 
like near stun. That was yeah, it was on like hard mode, wasn't it? Yeah, it was on hard mode and I uh like, someone told me that and I was trying to like be fancy with it rather than playing it seriously and I got rocked. And <laughs> Did he come up to you at the end of it? At the end like, of it, he was like, you had some trouble with that, didn't you? And I'm like, I'm so, I am, sir, I am so sorry. Like, his expression on stream was like, who is this guy? What is his problem? Why he? Why can't he? Has he ever even played this game before? Well, I was looking back and I'm and like, the like, producer for it. I'm like, yes, sir, but I didn't know someone said it on hard. I'm so sorry. I was not playing it like it was on hard. No, it's, it's, it, they get ahead of you. Oh, I see. Or, it's like you get you get turned around essentially, and you lose track of what you're doing. Like. You gotta always gotta keep your eye on the ball. I think. Like I, I, I like originally I was like, oh, I, I just need to run up to them and, and get them ahead of time before they sort of. Um, get to me, but then there's always a guy who gets to you and then you're attacking one guy and then, then mm -hmm. instead of like just taking them all out two, 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 yeah, two or three guys at one time. Yeah. So. They only come from the front though too, right? Yeah. Like. <laughs> the wide swing. <laughs> <laughs> Good butt for uh, Daigo. If everything's gonna be Daigo. <laughs> I'll take it. Did I do it? Did I lose it? I think you did it. You have half health, so it's not like you're dead. Oh, yeah, I know. What was your oh. position? Oh, okay. Oh, yay! I did it! Yeah, so, so losing this like probably five, six times over my life has obviously stuck with me. It's like riding a bike. <laughs> it's like riding a bike. Oh, 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 oh. So does Nick. So does Nick. Like, Hey, boy. Hey, boy. And when that voice first oh, came out of Bacchus, no. I was like, that can't be right. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, guys, there's something come up here. I want you guys to help me with, all right, on stream. Because I can't remember. There's one of these things I'm supposed to pick, and I can't remember which one's the one to pick. So what do you guys think? What should we, what should we do? Should we do black or should we do white? Big box, big black box or little white box? What do you guys think? What you got? Our, uh, our PR guy is gonna tally up the tally up the responses and give me giving me give me a. You got one minute. <laughs> you guys are getting, uh, Maybe less than a minute. <laughs> what we got? What you guys got? What do you say, Jacob? Almost a tie. Oh, it's a tie. Almost, yeah, it's five to four. Let us know. Let us know. It's 
pretty it's pretty even split, guys. So there's there is there really no correct answer here. <laughs> no matter if it's black or white. It's... That's true. That's real. Black. 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 All right, we're going. Big box. With Okay. Scott would actually know what's in each box. He'd be like, oh, the box, but this box is fit and this box is in fit. Well. Yeah, black. Nice. Silent, Silent shoes. <laughs> so what's in the white then? I don't know. Who, who out there knows what's actually in the white box? Thank you. Spoiler alert. <laughs> don't reach out. <laughs> At least he'll never have to spit fight with zombies again. Oh. Huh. 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 What's the keeper? Samurai. Uh. Hey. Baseball jersey, it looks like. So it sounds like the with the white box has something I can I can pick up pick up otherwise. Uh. So let's check out what those shoes do. Uh, oh, wait, you're still on a cutscene. Yep. <laughs> like the guitar. Oh. <laughs> there it is. Can you add that like, boom, right there at the end of it? That was really cute. Okay, um, let's see. Yeah, let's look at some equipment. Was... Oh, oh, he actually has that. Oh, that was you. I don't need that. I'm waiting. This Scott, Scott's gonna come back and be like, <laughs> why, why did, did I die? Why did you take it off? Yeah. Oh, wait, we want oh, those. Oh, yeah, we're yeah. So that's, if, so that's if I don't want to get tagged. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's fine. What else we got in here? This the card watcher. Uh, oh, that's if I stand still, I don't need that. Yeah, I think you got the, the good. Your inventory is good. Yeah, I think I'm good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely good. Okay. Um. CP is rolling in, guys. Let's see. Um, I have eight CP right now, so I, I think I can probably actually get an upgrade at this point. Oh, you guys want some? You guys want some? Let's go. Let's go. Oh yeah, I mean it's super easy. And it's and it's kind of funny funny because like what happens is there's there's two things that happens. Like if you're a series fan uh, and you like know the know, know the value of things in the game, like it's shocking how much money you get in this game. But if you if this if this happens to be your first Yakuza game and you're just like, oh, this is what money is, and you go to the later games and you're, and like, you're oh, like no. poor. You're like constantly poor. <laughs> Which is hilarious. Which is really kind of funny. Like, like, like the the price of like items in this game is so like trivial. At the end of the day, oh, this is not where my this is not where the alley I'm looking for. No, it's the next alley down. It's incredible how much money you get in this game. It was good because money goes so fast in this game too. Yeah, yeah. One of my favorite things is is um, you know, like I'm all. Uh, I like, I'm like i really big about sound effects video games, uh, and one of my favorite, like, oh, there's some trouble going on here that halted my my, my thing, so I gotta figure out what's going on there. Um, uh, is uh, the the fact that um, when you go to level up or whatever, like the sound the game makes when you're like investing money into your, your <laughs> living, when it goes like a <laughs> like that, I'm like, oh god, that's so awesome. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a big fan of that. Oh, is it the, the red spot? Yeah, on it's the a map? red spot, yeah, yeah. It's always in that location. They, um, yeah, I'm always, like, th th that's one of the reasons I'm always, like, big on, like, Sonic games. Like, one of the reasons people, like, Sonic is such, like, a feel-good game to play is that, like, when you're collecting those rings, that that sound of, like, shilling, like, that just, oh, it's, it's very so, satisfying. It's very, very satisfying. Yeah. Um, the sound, like, sounds of, like, of like of like quarters falling in a bucket of quarters like that like the money counter machine noise it sounds so good. Japan has a really has a good sense of that you know that's why a lot of their like schmucks like like sh I don't know, classic schmuck games are like 
like, uh, when you shoot things and the crystals, like, suck into your character or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like, that's why that, that's all, like, it's designed that way to have that same kind of satisfying, uh, like, quarters falling into a bucket. Soundscape to it, so. Okay. Mm -hmm. So how much farther do we have to go then? Okay, yeah, I kind of stopped a little bit. But it's not that far away. Um. Oh. Alright, guys. Saving up money. I don't know what we do right now. I don't think, uh... Alright, we're gonna do it. Oh, no, really? Taking a little bit. That was my that was my directive from Scott. He's like if you get anything done, make sure you get that loot you can can handle, Sam. I'm like, all right, dude. So, I guess, I guess, I guess, I need, I guess we, we just need to like step it up, and make it happen. Yeah. Uh, we gotta get, we're, we're kind of like really far away. Right? <laughs> we're we're kind of really far away, now that, I, now that I think about it. Cause, it, cause the trigger, cause it's triggered by, um, like how much share you have mm -hmm. in the area, um, which I'll, which we can go, go check out here in a second. Um, but what you, at, at, the, the stories are progressed by your like ability to buy in on certain properties. Uh, or, or there's this percentage of like completion there, mm -hmm. um, and you raise the, the completion by purchasing uh, properties and leveling them up. Um, so we gotta step it up. Or I'm gonna get the frowny face from Scott. <laughs> he's gonna come back. He's like, gonna the back. Finger he's gonna give me finger shake. Asshole. Like you didn't get it done. Oh. Oh hey. Yep. I get. Yeah, these they're they're signing on as. Uh, Managers? As managers and whatnot. So I guess there was there is another um Oh his stats are so bad. <laughs> but he's cheap. He's finding that's better. But and you can get Miracle Johnson later, but I'm, there's there's another um another quest. Another question. I'm trying to remember what the second quest for that is. I can't really remember where it is off the top of my head. It's been a while since I actually played through this game. Almost there. Almost there. We should get better. Sixteen. Oh. How much more? It's practically there. I'll go upstairs and look at it. Okay. Some of the lower lower skilled bonus guys into this, mm -hmm. so that should be fine. That's worth that's worth paying into because it just increases the every time we every time we roll this, mm -hmm. like like doing the two million guys a little bit too much of a little bit of overkill, uh, but you know, uh, five hundred one not too bad. Yeah, you gotta. That's the thing is like a lot of times people don't really pay attention to how much it, there's a lot of information on the screen that you kind of need to understand to be able to do this like efficiently. Mm -hmm. um, and like paying attention not only to the skill levels, but also the ability rank and how much you're paying them, because um, you can kind of min-max your time in effectiveness here. So you have to kind of be careful about that. Rank up. Um, yeah, when they rank up, the payout they, the payout increases. A little bit more, yeah. yeah. So yeah, you're paying for him, but when you hit that that number four there. See, that's expensive. Yeah. But we may want to rock him on, actually. I think we need to pay for this. This is worth it. This will be worth, it. It. This will be worth it a little bit later. Gotta be worth it later. Okay. Are they talking about food in the chat? Are you guys talking about food in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> so there is a question I sent to 
Oh, this is a really long one. I see it. Now I'm hungry. I wasn't even thinking about food, and now I need to think about food, <laughs> and now I'm actually like really hungry. For Project Cross X Zone, how involved in it were we? Um, but it had a lot of Sega characters with Kiryu and Majima in it. Any particular funky about it? Any localization insights or brand rights and stuff? How much can I talk about that? Um. Okay, so let me let me talk about what I'm willing what I'm willing to talk about. Uh, so, uh, Project Cross Zone. Um, in case just so, so everyone understands what that is, uh, mm -hmm. that's a project that was sort of a mashup of a whole bunch of different sort of characters between like Bandai and Sega and some other people, Capcom, um, Capcom. and um, and being as a as a uh, you know a lot of people have to be involved in in making sure all the all the, the stylings and whatnot are right. Uh, however, um, and I can't speak for every IP or whatever, um, I can only speak for what um, I was involved with, uh, with that pro project, which is very, very, very limited. Um, but uh, when they released uh, Cross Zone 2, I actually went up to, to, mm -hmm. to San Francisco and was on stream with uh, their, their uh, community manager uh, and, uh, at the time, and we talked about it. Um, as part of sort of a kind of mm -hmm. cost promotional kind of thing, so you can actually go see me up in the Bandai offices talking about that product, uh, which was kind of which was fun. It was, a, it was a David Lee invited me up there. It was really really fun. Um, now I don't, we didn't. I, I'm pretty sure, like at least for like the the Yakuza related stuff, I don't recall there being any um, like stylistic reviews of the text, um, but I do know that we provided them with like terminology. Uh, from the game, and I seem to recall, like that one of the things I did, I remember being involved with, uh, was like there's this. Um, I might be getting this wrong, guys. So <laughs> just take this with a grain of salt. But I, I, I seem to recall that in Pro uh, Project Cross Zone, there's like a, um, like one of the items, one of the weapons or something you can get that's um, Yakuza related, has to do with like this black a wooden sword. Uh, that's in, that was in the original Yakuza One. That was kind of like, it was like stats-wise, like a little OP and sort of legendary as a result. Uh, and so they brought that into Cross Zone. Is like, oh, everyone's going to know what this is. But no one could. But the, none of the uh, documents that we had on our side, it, it wasn't clear whether it was like a wood sword, whether it was a black wood sword. Did you see some guy? Oh, yeah. It was a black wood sword or like something like that. And so it took us like some time to like. Dig in and figure out like what would you what would what's the actual official name for this particular item? Um, and so I do remember being involved with something yeah. like that. Um, I do happen happen to know uh, the uh, localization producer who worked on Project Cross Zone, incidentally, um, and uh, I do know that a lot of effort was put into making sure that. Uh, not only Yakuza, but everything across the board was respected as far as like stylistic, uh, everything it had done up to that. It was just sort of unfortunate because I remember that game was being released like around the same time or just before uh, Yakuza Zero was being released when we sort of re changed how we were approaching a lot of the localization decisions in the game. Um, so there's some stuff in Project Yakuza Zone that doesn't really, it isn't exactly like um, modern. Yakuza styling, it's, it's specifically like Kiryu, or I'm sorry, uh, Majima's like, new way, like, like new accent and the way he's being, mm -hmm. is, is pre-Scott pre uh, styling, uh, which doesn't mean it's wrong, it just means that it's... It's just a different... It, it, yeah, it's just a different kind of styling. Mm -hmm. for, for um, yeah. we're just, that's what we were doing right now. As we are 30 minutes to rush down and beat all these guys. Do do it. Do it. It's a fun question. Go to the giant
Oh, no, 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 no. That was the, you're supposed to think of the most innocent thing, right? The most innocent thing that's turned into his, into a whore, right? That's, that's, the, that's what that is. So, okay, so. The woo, the woo, the woo question. Probably like, like a, probably like a, a building size tall mommy, mommy or something like that. Like the dog, the mm. dog, the dog that they had built the dolphins maybe. I'm not as I'm not as quite in Kidu's head as as uh, Scott. Scott would be. I wonder what Scott would say. Well, <laughs> next time, bring that question next time. Oh, we got some trouble happening. So we're gonna go to the back alley behind Serena, beating up dudes on the way. Yeah. I really wish that there's this there's this uh, there's this one item you can get kind of later in the game called Quick Change Clothes. I really wish I had, because it makes the battle like take the battle to the next level. Yeah. Yeah, you can basically like uh, uh, cancel moves into, into into different moves. You know, you cancel moves into different styles. Oh. So you can literally like in the middle like, of a sequence switch between styles mid sequence and change stuff up. Oh, that's pretty cool. I haven't gotten that far yet. Yeah, there's. A, I can't remember how you unlock that. And then there's this legendary uh, item that people always advise people to be careful about, called the, uh, the what is it? The, char the charismatic autobiography. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of this one? Mm -mm. There's this item called the charismatic autobiography, and uh, basically, like it, if you don't read the description, it looks like an amazing item because it like ups your stats or something like really yeah. crazy, and people are like, oh, I'm putting that on my character, and they that's and it's it's a classic example of like. RT, R, RTFM, right? <laughs> Classic really, example of RTFM, right? Because right? Uh, the item says basically like, the item description is something to the effect of like, dudes will rock you. Like, see how this um, guy's over to the edge there? He's like waiting, he's politely waiting for me to uh, finish to off. To finish beating up on this guy. When you equip the uh, charismatic autobiography, basically all the enemies attack you at the same time. Oh. So they're all like, thwomp. And it, everything gets like, it utter, it's like utterly impossible. Like there's no politeness. <laughs> Well, it's nice that they they politely yeah. wait for you to beat up on their Polite party. enemies are actually like a, a little known uh, game mechanic that people don't really realize is there. It's kind of like a rubber banding and, and uh, a little pull back the curtain for you guys a little bit. Uh, in racing games, there's a, 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 a thing called rubber band banding, which causes uh, calm characters in the back of the line to speed up and calm characters in the front to slow down mm -hmm. to make it feel like there's more com competition with the with the player and make it more interesting. Um, uh, enemies have the same. There's thing a thing called a, called polite enemies, uh, uh, which people wait to get their butt kicked essentially, because uh, that's something people program in to, to make happen. Yeah. And I remember the first time I ever came in contact with that particular mechanic was uh, I, I worked on this Kinect game called mm -hmm. uh, called uh, Rise of Nightmares for Xbox 360. It's a Sega game we put out maybe like five five six years ago. Uh, and there was this time where like we were doing a lot of the balancing for it. And uh, we had to introduce this concept of polite zombies, and uh, the polite zombie mechanic uh, basically uh, makes it so the um, so the zombies uh, always walk in, like if they're if they're zombies behind you, they always politely ignore the back of your head and walk. It's a first person oh, game, so, it so, walks th in so front they walk of you. around in front of you, so they can see you, and, and they won't attack you until you're. Until, until you're looking at it and they're on screen. Oh. And we called it we called it the polite zombies mechanic. That's very kind. Yeah, it's very polite of the zombies too. Yeah. Cool How about that? Any of you guys are throwing out some old, old games of mine? Did any, any of you guys ever play uh, Rise of Nightmares? There's probably more binary domain players out there than Rise of Nightmares players. But it's a, it, it was a Kinect game, so you had to own a Kinect. Mm -hmm. yeah. 360 only. Put a lot of work into the game. That was game is I know it had you know you're like it's one of those games. It's kind of it's kind of like a sort of a had like a small cult following at the time uh, because it's one of those classic Sega games mm -hmm. where like Sega's like trying to do something like really ahead of the time, trying to really think you know, do something that's like new and cutting edge and a little rough around the edges. I'm the first to admit that, but I was really proud of like how that how far that game had come at the end of the day because it was Connect is a is a really mm -hmm. challenging. It was a very new Probably kind of. Project. It was a very challenging kind of kind of uh, piece of hardware to work with at the time, mm -hmm. um, because no one knew anything. No, there were no best practices. No one had really figured out 
what what you could and couldn't do with it, it, it and even the things that you could do it like what's the best way of going about doing it um, and so at the time it was like one of the only first like free roaming exploration first person action games mm -hmm. on that particular platform um, this is really cool. I, I enjoyed it. I oh, enjoyed it. Looks like we got a couple of people in the chat who tried playing it. So, that's me. Oh, money battle. Alright, okay, push the button. So you actually don't have to... So, a lot of people think you have to, like, jam it. Jam it. You only have to keep here, and, and every time you hit the button, you pay money. The key to this section, though, is that you don't need to jam it. You just need to make sure that the line doesn't fall under the star you're currently at. Oh. So you can actually be like, like kind of juggle it, like dun 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 dun. You don't have to like waste tons of money on it. So that's a, a pro tip on that one. You guys were aware. Okay, let's. Yeah, I'm cut off. We have enough money to purchase more properties though. Oh, we're close though. We get another five million. That's a lot of money. Never mind. <laughs> no, there's some. There's some like. I, I should go around. You know, we should do. We should while we're running around. We should actually go and make note of which um, which property to buy next. Properties we can buy next. Mm -hmm. Oops. And the Pichinko one is right across the street. So it's not yeah, let's 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 locate these and look look at the signs. So yeah, we were talking about last time um, on on the local on the localization front how um, we identified that the fact that the only way so like we we understood that oh uh oh what's going on here oh we we've, we've advanced the story a little bit. Oh, the leisure king. Kaidu, that Kaidu man. Kaidu. Boy. Uh -oh. Got better things to do. <laughs> Coming to my turf, mess up my business. I'm running a legit business here. <laughs> uh oh, yeah, he's pulling on the noise. Mm -hmm. Cut, cut, yeah. We're gonna tell him to Yeah, pie hole. Mm hmm. Trying these old Yakuza tactics on the old Yakuza? Yeah, that ain't, ain't gonna work. They ain't gonna work. They ain't gonna work. Oh, but so these guys with these, uh, these, um, what do they call them? Like, these, man, these guys are packing heat, man. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah it, these, uh, these, uh... And a taser. The taser things that you gotta, like, be careful I about. I would go ahead and heal, too, yeah, just I'm in case while you're in the pause right now. You see these, like, yeah, the little ones. Yeah, these taser guys, you gotta handle. Oh, yeah. like that. Alright, so this Get is... The <laughs> Oh, the rush style. This is what you will rush. So there's no politeness waiting here. No heat, so I can't like deal with you. <laughs> so the thing about rush is you gotta have heat to like yeah, to like bob to, to, to bob and weave. Nice. Uh, oh, heal. I think I spent all that time finding that. <laughs> Check out Ori Har Ohira Ohira no more. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 
I'm used to like playing like in full power mode too. So there's yeah. like there's like all these abilities that I'm used to having that I don't have. So. <laughs> You're like trying to do the combos and it's not going. <laughs> yeah, I'm like oh, oh I can't oh I don't have that oh I don't have you know more iframes you know, upgraded upgraded uh, Wii gives me more iframes. You know. <laughs> Jake, Jacob, are you having trouble keeping the uh, chat wrangled? Oh no, no, we are uh, we are fully off the rails. We've been talking about Yakuza 23, the cyborg and time travel. Oh, is that tell me is more. that real? You guys have been talking about that that cyborg time travel Yakuza? That's right. Everyone's I do remember. Board, I do remember this. reading something about a pompadour laser beam, but <laughs> this is what everyone's told me they want. <laughs> I think I seem to recall like I think even internally we had there was this w w there was this uh, discussion about like future like having a, a, a future set Yakuza game with, with like oh, Kiki or something like that. There wasn't that I feel like that was a, an internal discussion as well at some point. Okay. Okay. I think oh. I'm going to go get. There's also some discussions going on about the topics. Oh, <laughs> become. <laughs> Well, if you guys are having fun, we're having fun. That's what we're here for, right? Yes, fun. That's good. Oh, yes. So, if you are just tuning in and even heard my spiel yet, I would like to direct you to this way to the experience site, which is that little URL below the Sega logo. Um, it gives a lot of really good information and backstory of all the characters. So, if, like, for example, if you're new to the series and you don't know who, like, Daigo is, for example, you can go check him out, see who he is. Um, if you're afraid of spoilers, we did build in a spoiler toggle as well, and that's in the settings menu, so that you can turn off anything from, like, Kiwami or any of the other games from, uh, Kiwami the Five. And we update it once a month, and periodically there are chapters on there, too, with our animated comics. Uh, they give a little bit more inside story to the to the game itself, and they're from different points of view. So if you, even if you've played the game and you're familiar with the story, it's something new. All right, so we're gonna look at so we're looking for Pachinko New, new Motherfucker is the one up the street. I think the New Eden Pachinko is on the other. It's on the other side, isn't it? It's on. It's on. It's on. I'm coming. You guys come back. That sushi place, I think, is a, is a joint. Oh, is that is that the next section? That sushi skin? No, not that sushi. Oh, yeah. That, so it's only this block right here. Okay, okay. It's only this, this uh, thing over here. So mm -hmm. we're going to check these and just see which ones we can get into. We're going to start. Sushi Gin is down. It's on, on this main street down here. Mm -hmm. I that. Oh, here it is. There it is. Oh, so I actually have a ton of Oh, you can do it. Let's 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 do it. Going. This is probably the most expensive one. Yeah. <laughs> so that's, that was going to give me like uh, uh, five million every time we pay out. Nice. So we can make that back pretty quick. Yeah, we'll make that back really quick. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, let's see what else we got. If that's New Eden. We know where the uh, uh, Marifuku is. The Commodore Health Plaza. Using my special Japanese scanning power. Yeah, going back to Japan, I realized how bad my katakana skills were. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, you gotta keep it up. But even in this, even in this, uh, even being able to read a lot of these signs, like sometimes you see people like, miss it. So there's a lot of. There's a lot if, of if you, have, lights. if you haven't noticed, there's a lot of signs. <laughs> like how many signs does this location have? This is 
Okay. Com it is? Yeah, it says it right there. It says Comodo Health Plaza. Top of that thing. And this one is 12. Okay, 12. So 12. That's, a that, that's a 12. Mm -hmm. All right, so, all right, let's let's make note of this. In. Mental notes here. So, uh, Marufuku, I think, was 16. Health Plaza is 12. Uh, Wild Apples, the one across the street from uh, from the from our building. Um, Harashima Design, I want to say is Uber. Because I remember having to work really hard. With so that one's, yep, yeah, this is Harashima mm -hmm. Design. Design meaning like architecture. And this one is 13. So okay. 12, 13, 16. And then Popo and Gin are both uh, bond related ones. Yeah, don't you need to do a little bit more yeah, side questions. Right? Question. So, okay. so let's go grab our payout. That's worth hey, it. That's worth it. So crazy let's, just do him. This. let's just do this. Nice. Pretty much an immediate level up there, so that makes mm -hmm. that worth it. Um, this one you're gonna want to go cheap. So either Tomomi, Takata. This is the one where it's like, that's like, we'll just go cheap on this big deal. It's fine. Just gotta get everything caught up. Gotta spread the money around now. Mm-hmm. Movie's earning her keep, that's for I know, sure. she's doing pretty good. She's earning her keep. All right, so finally, uh, we're gonna see sp uh, spinning is gonna be like, spining, I guess, is gonna be finally making it worth our trouble. Mm-hmm. Um, We'll keep him for this round. And we'll go. Okay. How much CP do I have at the moment? Six? So you can go get another. Really no, get, you no, have to no, get no. ten. I think it's yeah. ten. All right, so what, where are some easy easy CP gets here? You can probably check our list to see. Yeah, we'll, let's, let's, we'll look at the completion list and see mm -hmm. if there's some easy CP gets here. Um, okay, 20 more. Keep, keep, keep Knocking dudes out. And brawler style too, I think it was. Uh, oh, you're a little far from that. I'll keep. Oh, rocking. you can do rush and beast. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, on the streets, brawler. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll keep doing Help beast. Attack victims around town. So we've been doing that pretty yeah. good. Defeat uh, Mister Shakedown. No, that's not what I want to deal with right now. Uh, come on, cheese moves. Talk to a bunch of people. I could go eat. Uh, we could go do some completions for this stuff. Uh, Tengo good candy. Alps. Small burger. Small burger. Okay. Let's go get a small burger. There's a there's a there's a CP perk where um, you can uh, basically have infinite hunger. Which helps you complete the bodies. Oh, because you have to eat everything on Yeah, because because I think you can actually fill up. I want to say. Mm -hmm. I I love this because it's like you know there was that, that original reference. We sometimes talk about how this game is really similar to like River City Ransom, mm -hmm. and and that was actually something that was in River City Ransom as well. So I like that. It's <laughs> interesting. I think you don't have any returns. Oh, I have to. Uh, we, well, we can fix that. That's right, to go. That's right, all this is to go. Um, oh, I guess I ordered it to take out. Uh, I guess that was the mistake. Do I have to complete both? Or is it. Maybe this is not. No, I think it's only one, right? Yeah, but, that, yeah, but that's not. Yeah, yeah, I made, I made a mistake here. Okay. We gotta get through here. This is the one you get the checks off. Oh, I see. That's the thing. The other ones are just items. Oh, yeah, see, I'm oh no. So I basically have to go get damaged. Alright, let's go. So, we'll go get damaged and 
That's that's the, that's right. That's how they do food in this one. Is like. Mm -hmm. Oh, we only got ten more minutes. Mm. Oh no. Sorry, Scott. <laughs> yeah, we failed you, Scott. No. <laughs> I didn't hear Jacob. He said, Scott is a freaking oh. god. <laughs> I, I have a feeling that I'm not going to leave not, not hear the end of that one next <laughs> I will let you guys just gonna, that just gonna be, He's going to spend the net. He's going to spend the entire stream just like shaking his head and looking over sometimes. Just looking at you. Just... Just... <laughs> oh boy. He's going to be all like, Sam, what happened to scheduling? What happened to your uh, like planning it out and making sure that you knew what was going on? That's what you do, right? Oh, and I'm like, oh, the guilt. <laughs> you cute little. <laughs> All right, man. I I got you. I got you. Too shit. Too shit. <laughs> Tell them we're too busy making money. Not enough money, Not but <laughs> we made money. <sighs> We're investing in real estate. Yeah, where is this bad guy? That one? Oh, yeah, they, they are. Were, they were bad guys. Good. The pink cat. Oh, good. 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 Oh, where can you find that? Is it like game? I don't know, you guys tell us. Where, where, where's the autobiography? The charismatic autobiography again? Is that a, is that a CQ bonus? Is that a, uh, a Bob, Bob thing? Like, what do you, what do you, what do you think of the charismatic autobiography? Hmm. There's a way later in the game that you can like, stream diamonds between groups, mm. between, between your tags. Oh, you know what I need to do? Oh, here's what we need to do. I, I forgot. So, if you want to get into fights, the way you do that, you get drunk. To the bars! To the bar. Here we go. Here we go to dick. Go to game .co. You, get, you, you tend to get you tend to get uh, in more trouble. Malt the graph. The cool thing about being drunk is it actually I'm pretty sure it, it affects your um, how. Uh, you get kind of sloppy. Yeah, it affects your your your, your speed at which you. Um, It picks your speed at which you uh, build heat. Like six more of these, and then we're good to go. We yeah. See <laughs> this uh, stream is rated M for alcohol references. I feel so bad running into a group of people because they always like squeal at you. Yep. Yep. 
They're like trying to avoid them, but it doesn't really work out. I think it's so funny because that's one of the interesting things about this game is like the, 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 the NPCs react so strongly. They, yeah. seem, they seem like they react like o overly strongly to your presence, which is very like, I, I, I'm hesitant to say like really Japanese, but but it's, it's kind of really funny that you're like, that the NPCs, these uncaring characters are still like, whoa, and like most other games, the characters just like, Slide it's out like, of the way or like, whatever. They like just like go through you. Yeah. Yeah. You've really this got... one's like I actually feel guilty about running into them. <laughs> Ooh, Moto, take a nap. <laughs> Shaka, what are you doing? <laughs> we are. Uh... <laughs> is uh is Jacob harassing you guys out there? I, I'll, I'll have to pull him aside. If, if, we will give him a talk to. Too. We'll give him a talk to. Sure. You know you can actually pick fights with drunk guys. Um, no. Yeah, the drunk guys. If you run into him, you can pick oh. fights. Oh. Oh, this is one of my guard guys. He's showed up to help me out. Hey, friendship. Yeah, that's, that's probably good having employees. Yeah, the front drunk guys you can pick fights with, which is kind of funny. Take their money. <laughs> Alright, we gotta... We gotta wrap up! Is it really time? It's oh really no! Time. What?! God, oh, no. I'm so sorry. We, we tried. We tried. We tried. Okay, well let's well, uh, let's look how much we made with our new our new parlor. Yeah, see that's a lot of cash. We can yeah. totally, we can, we can so probably making enough money that we can actually start. Mm -hmm. uh, so you gotta spend money to make money. You gotta spend money to make money, guys. That is that is how it works. That is real. Um, all right. So uh, while while we're wrapping here, let's go through the uh, standard set of things we'd like to talk about. So mm -hmm. let's um. So yeah, so everyone again, uh, the um, Song of Life, Yakuza 6 Song of Life is coming. It's yep. coming hot and fast. In March. We want you guys to, to check it out. It's coming in March. Uh, this is the uh, the premium edition. Yeah, our after hours edition. It comes with two glasses, coasters, and two ice stones. It also comes with a really, really, really sweet art book that we're putting together, which is a community-driven art book. It contains a, a good chunk of community art as well as some um, in-game art as well. And it's going to be hardcover, and it's coming in a really nice box, and you guys are going to love it. Um, and again, these things are not in infinite. Uh, mm -hmm. If you don't have one, uh, you could probably uh, you know, go and look on Amazon, and you're like, oh, yeah, it's... Or, or GameStop or whatever your, your preferred retailer is and be like, hey, oh yeah, they still have it in stock, I'm good. Um, that's That may be fake news, so uh, <laughs> I would uh, recommend yeah. not trusting that and get it, go ahead and getting your order in yep. as soon as you can. But if you are unable to get the premium edition, we also have this really, really good launch edition coming out, which contains the art book as well. Uh, these are come with the launch or the launch shipments of the game too so yeah it's if my understanding is correct it's 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 not even just like the game and an art book mm -hmm. the game is in the art book mm -hmm. uh so it's like this really nice sweet yeah and uh, it's like a cool package a nice community package too you know the tagline is how far you would go for family and you guys are our family so the art book really encompasses that yeah. message in my opinion yeah and, and I also just so everyone's clear like all the imagery here this is all like kind of placeholder mm -hmm. and we'll be updating you guys a little bit later in the month as to what the yep. actual final product looks like. Yeah, so uh, keep an eye on all of our channels. We should be doing it shortly. Uh, so it should, it's probably going to be very exciting to get a hold of, and I'm really excited to show it off and tell you what we got from the store. Yep, so um, thanks for joining us today, guys. Um, check out the experience site as well, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll see you next week with, uh, with Real Scott. Ah! Hopefully. <laughs> I will be replaced. <laughs> thanks for stopping by, guys. Okay, thank you. Have a great time. Yeah. You're off. All right. Well, like, complete, and then I'll click finish.